feel that nowadays a lot of art that I see is okay with being insignificant. It's okay with its own sort of profane function. It's okay with being what it is. And I, I, don't, I don't want that. You know, I kind of want art to be sacred. Because I think it is. And it doesn't mean that if you were to use paint on canvas, it makes it sacred. You know, but if there is a certain experience in it, I think that's a sacred experience to be cherished and to sort of, to be in awe of. But I think very little art that I see nowadays has that experience. It's insignificant, has lost significance it, for me. It's kind of, um, it's entertaining, it's pleasant to look at. Uh, but I would be equally entertained going to a baseball game. You know, I have so many things I like to do and that entertain me endless, endlessly. You know, I like to play sports and do all these fun things, you know. But they're fun things. They're things that are insignificant, ultimately. That they're here now, then they disappear. They don't change me. They don't change my relationship to the world. They merely distract me from the world, distract me from reality. And I think significant moving art does the opposite. It very much puts you face to face with reality. And then you kind of wake up. It's like, oh shit. And I forgot that, that we have this. Let me, let me just say that there is an artist. Some of these ideas that I speak about are not really my own. And it's not like I came to this present understanding of things just by sitting here contemplating. Um, there is an artist who has affected my view of the world, really, in a, in a profound way. And... Um, yeah. I'm going to move yeah, here. <laughs> let me uh, let me read you this. So this is uh, a book uh, written by an artist, Enrique Martinez Salaya, called The Blog, That Time for Poetry. So this is a record of the blog that he kept for two years. And he's published many, many books besides the art that he does. He's a, he writes. Um, so this little passage is called Spin Paintings, written on Tuesday, September 16th, 2008. In contrast to the perspective offered by distance, our daily living favors the immediate and the fashionable, and sometimes persuaded by that immediacy as well as by cultural repetition and the desire to seem informed. People praise their artistic merit of dubious artworks and moral flexibility and status anxiety encouraged, encouraged these colorful evaluations. On September 15, 2008, the same day the stock market lost more than 500 points, partly as a result of whimsical investments in the financial field gone bad, more than 200 pieces of new work by Damien Hirst sold through Sotheby's for more than $200 million. The offering of pickled animals, butterflies, and dots, which were made by the more than 180 people who worked for Hearst, was the first time an artist used an auction house to sell new work. Hearst's action and its success are part of a larger condition, which Robert Hughes appropriately described in the following way. Where you see Hearst's, you will also see Jeff Koon's balloons, John Michael Basquiat's stone scribbles, Richard Prince's feeble jokes and pinups of nurses, and inevitably scads of really bad, really late Warhols. Such works of art are bound to hang out together, a uniform message from our fin de sile decadence. Some of us feel like hypocrites when we call for ambition of spirit and authenticity in the work of art, knowing we don't ask for the same in our own lives. 
And so we learn to accept trivial and cowardly gestures as significant and brave because in them we sense our own failings. We become practiced in self-serving praise of the meager and the vicious, but irrespectively of these moral ac accommodations, when time has passed and our own fears and status no longer matters, the diamond-encrusted skulls and spin paintings will become, mainly, symbols of our dishonesty and lack of clarity. What we need in art is ambition of spirit, quality and authenticity, not because those imperatives are abundant in our lives, but precisely because they are not. So there you go. I think this pretty much this little page. Mm -hmm.